So recently I went on this adventure and I would very much like to share it with you. Two good friends of mine, Alex and Mark, are currently gallivanting around the world, making videos for their YouTube channel, The Biggest Baddest Bucket List. And the other day they called me up and said, Jack, what's the number one thing on your bucket list? And I said, well guys, that would have to be skydiving. They then responded by saying, I reckon we can sort that out. And sure enough, two days later, they called back and said, how would you like to travel through Dubai with us, all expenses paid, and you get to chuck yourself out of a plane. Dubai is a place that's always fascinated me and throwing myself out of a plane is something I've always wanted to do. So we said, yes, please, thank you very much. That sounds nice, and off we went. We arrived at Heathrow Airport early the next morning, found our flight, checked in at the desk, said hi to the woman, popped the bags on the weird weight thing, made sure there was no loose straps. I hate Eight loose straps. Say goodbye to my bag, almost forgot my passport, check in again this time at security, put my bag onto the belt and get told off for having a camera. Oh, no, not with the camera. Pick my bag back up, look for the gate, find the gate, jump on the weird train things, jump off the weird train things and onto an escalator. Realise we were running late, like really, really late. Finally find the gate, we make it in time, check in for what feels like the 20th time, down some escalators, get pointed in the right direction, onto the plane, belt backward up, table down, crack open a whiskey. Cheers! Once a whiskey had taken effect, I came up with a mad scheme to draw something on thin space. It's a penis. That'll teach him. So once we got into the hotel, we pretty much just crashed out from complete and utter exhaustion. We had just three days in Dubai, and although we knew there were some activities planned, we weren't exactly sure what they would be. Early the next morning, like really, really early, we were driven out to the desert to experience something pretty special. In the desert, we were introduced to Peter, who owns this gigantic hot air balloon. The plan was to go up and watch the sun as it rose in the early morning. Once we were up in the air, everything was so incredibly still and quiet. The boys did their thing filming whilst Finn and I sat there and took the whole thing in. Then something strange started to happen. As we came into land, the wind started to pick up and Peter started to panic. Yep, we had a crash landing. So the next morning we woke up hoping we might have a bit more of a chilled day, maybe lying on a beach, hanging out at the pool. Evidently, that wasn't gonna happen. You see, the hotel we were staying in just so happened to be the home to the Middle East's largest aquarium. And due to the fact that we were making a little film out there, we were offered an incredibly rare opportunity to go into the tank with all the sharks and the stingrays uh, and go scuba diving. So I'm about to go in the world's largest fish tank. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> It was only when we started to descend into this tank that we realised the absolute vast scale of it. This tank is full of a million different types of fish, all of which just swim right by you. It was an incredibly surreal experience being on the other side of the tank and looking at humans as if you were a fish. Then came feeding time. We all knelt down in a circle and offered tiny old shrimps to the stingrays.
By this time, the Dubai Tourism Board had heard what we were doing and the fact that we were making a video for YouTube, and I think they got a little bit carried away. That afternoon, we went and did a series of mad driving expeditions. <laughs> experience hadn't already been so overwhelmingly insane, the time had finally come for us to go skydiving. Oh my god. Yeah, skydiving. <laughs> we went inside, buckled up, high five for good luck, into the buggy, onto the tarmac, into the plane, and then it was time. I'd like to extend a huge thanks to Mark and Alex for letting us experience all these incredible life experiences that we wouldn't otherwise have done. I feel super lucky and super spoiled to be able to have done them and also to be traveling alongside you guys. Mark and Alex are literally doing this type of stuff every single week. I've no idea how they do it, but if you'd like to check it out, make sure you head over to Biggest Baddest Bucket List. I'll link it in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you next week. Ba -do -ba -dum. Ba -do -ba -dum. Ba -do -ba -dum. Ba -do -ba -dum.